After a 70% price reduction, a DVD player sold for $210. What was the original price? Let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. So usually in these problems, a good first step is to identify what you're looking for. So we're looking for the original price of the DVD player. So we let X be what we're looking for. So X is the original, so OG price. OG means original. All right, so we're looking for the original price and we're told how much the DVD player sells for in two different ways. We're told that it sells for $210 and then we're also told that it sells at a 70% price reduction. So using this information, we can create an equation. So first let's do the hard part. It sells at a 70% price reduction. That means we're selling it for the original price, which is X, minus 70% of the original price. So minus 0 0.70 of the original price, so times 0.X. So it's the original price minus 70% of the original price. Of means multiply in mathematics. And this is equal to how much it sells for, but it also sells for $210, so 210. The next step is to actually perform the subtraction. So keep in mind there's a one here in front of your x. It's always there. So you're subtracting one x minus 0.70x. So you're basically just subtracting one minus 0.70 and the x kind of hangs out. So it's 0 0.30 times x. And that's equal to 210. Because it's being multiplied by 0 0.30 and we have to solve for x, we do the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. So divide by 0 0.30, divide by 0 0.30. So we end up with x equals, and you can do this uh, by hand or you can use a calculator. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 700, let me check. Yep, $700. So very, <laughs> very um, expensive <laughs> DVD player. I don't think DVD players are still $700 um, today. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.